boy, it's pretty hard to keep somebody moving when you can't even find them. Good breakfast, Ruth. Oh, I'm glad you enjoyed it. In fact, I think I'll have another egg. Oh, my. Well, I'm, I'm sorry, Mr. Griffin, but I just gave you the last egg in the house. The last egg in the house? Well, yes, sir. I, I, I expected to get more from the milkman in time for your breakfast, but he isn't here yet. Well, what time is he supposed to be here? You should know that. It's kind of hard to tell that. I just sort of expect him when I see him, because... This is ridiculous. I've just bought an entire dairy, and I can't even get an egg for breakfast. Hand me that phone. I'll call him. Well, no, really, I could run next door to the neighbors and borrow some. It won't take long. Never mind. I'll find out what this man's schedule is. Hello, this is Harvey Griffin. Give me the route, supervisor. Well, I don't know what I'm going to do. Well, thanks anyway. Good morning, Hazel. Claude, where have you been? I've been calling for you all over town. Yeah, I guess I'm a little late. A little late? Yeah, I stopped over on Division Street to watch a fire. What were you doing over there? That ain't on your route. That's a way over the other side of town. I know. I had to chase those darn fire trucks all those three miles. Oh, you're the limit. Oh, uh, well, anyway, here's your milk. I ordered two bottles. I know. I'm sorry. See, that's all I got left. I gave the rest to the fireman. The fireman? Yeah. Well, no, it's hot work fighting a fire. I figured they deserved it. Oh, for Pete's sake. Yeah, well, Hazel, so what was I going to do? Let our brave boys just stand there with their tongues hanging out? I got a soft heart. Well, there's nothing wrong with having a soft heart. It's your head that's going to get you in trouble. Now don't go picking on me, Hazel. You start fooling around and you won't be here in this kitchen to be picked on. You'll be looking for another job. Whoa. <laughs> I mean it. In here, Hazel. What did you want to see us about, darling? Yeah. The same old subject, Claude. He's getting his notice tomorrow. Tomorrow? You said he had a week. You promised, George. You can't go back on your word. I am sorry. I just got a telephone call from Mr. Griffin. Direct orders to get rid of Claude immediately. Pronto. You said a week. Didn't you hear me? I said Mr. Griffin called. George, he dumped this whole thing in your lap. Now, if you're going to run it, run it. Yeah, Mr. B., are you going to let him tell you what... Now, stop it, both of you. You both know good and well that Mr. Griffin is the boss. Claude is fired, and that's that. What are you, a man or a mouse? I'm a very well-paid mouse. Now, let's just drop the subject. I have a stack of work to get out, and I've got to get it to Mr. Griffin this afternoon. Well, we better get out of here, mister. What are we going to do now, Hazel? I don't know what you're going to do, but I'm going to bake a batch of brownies. Well, this does me good to see this brownie. Looks like one of your best. Let's talk first. Well, what is it? Mr. B said that you told him to fire our milkman, Claude Waters. I certainly did. Well, you can't do that. You just can't. Why not? The man is completely incompetent. Well, I ain't saying he ain't, but you can't fire him after 30 years. You'd break his heart. That ain't fair. Hazel, I know you're always for the underdog, and I admire you for This milkman's the underest dog of all time. Saturday, he is out. That's just the meanest thing I ever heard in my... Mr. Baxter, Mr. Griffin. Hazel, what are you doing here? Hi, Mr. B. She's giving me a bad time, that's what she's doing. I'm here to protect Claude. Oh, not that again. Hazel, will you please mind your own business and let Mr. Griffin and me mind ours? Now, we have work to do. Yeah, I guess you better run along, Hazel. I've completed this draft of the pension plan for oh, the Oh, I'm glad you brought up that about the pension, Mr. B. The, the, your employees at the dairy can retire after 30 years, can't they? That's right. Provided they've been on the Griffin payroll for at least one year. Well, can't you keep Claude on for a year? Is that asking too much? You bet it is. In another year, he could lose me a hundred customers. Well, can't you make an exception for Claude? What kind of exception? Well, I mean, don't fire him. Just retire him on the pension plan, and then you can save his pride in his pocketbook, too. Hazel, we can't do that. Well, maybe you're right. But I was just thinking, if Mr. Griffin did a nice thing like that, you know, just for nothing, that maybe people wouldn't feel about him the way they do. But we can just forget about it. Yes, let's well, go. Well, wait a minute. Uh, just how do people feel about me, Hazel? Well, I ain't one.